Hey y'all, it's Mental Health Day. Let's get started. Hey y'all, so most of this video will be a voiceover because I kind of forgot to do an intro part, but whatever. So I'm already at the hospital waiting for my preceptor to come up and take us to the unit. So yeah. So we're still waiting. My preceptor is running late. She says she got, well, technically she went to the wrong hospital, but we on the way to the uni. Yeah, so there was a lot of standing around, not doing too much. And here we're back in the conference room, not doing too much. So there was a point where we were looking at patient medical charts and I was just looking up some drugs in nurse, Nursing Central. Shout out to Nursing Central. It's an awesome app. So finally, the day is over and I am enjoying my delicious granola bar. The day is over and we're finally leaving the unit and I cannot wait to tell you guys about it. I am it. so ready to tell y'all about this experience because I really only have one positive thing to say. So, oh, it's so cold. Okay, y'all, sorry if it's dark. I'm still in the parking garage. I just wanted to come on here and give you guys a quick spill on my experience today. It was borderline awful. Um, not because of the unit. Well, excuse me. Not because of the specialty or anything like that. But because I think the clinical placement was poorly done. Just because I feel as though... As a nursing student, the goal should be to utilize our learning and, you know, make every opportunity as grand as possible for us to learn, for us to see things, for us to see the nurses in action, for us to have all of these different experiences of different patients and things of that nature. And I just really felt like today I was duped from that opportunity to really learn and gain that experience from the unit that I was on so just a little background it was six of us today that's the normal number and we were broken up into groups of three and three of the other girls they went to the adolescent psych ward or floor or unit or whatever and then myself and two other girls we stayed on the geriatric um, unit and I don't knock the geriatric um psych ward or psych unit just because i was a cna for forever like i understand like geriatric is a little more slow pace like obviously but this particular unit i just felt as though there was not a lot of teaching opportunities there was not a lot of learning opportunities i didn't really gain much insight about the patients i didn't really get to engage them i didn't i didn't get to really you know talk to them or you know just kind of like you know like just really have that experience um i feel as though it did not go the way i thought it was going to go you know like for example like we really didn't do much like we was there for like seven and a half, mm, six and a half, seven hours. And I think I sat down for like most of the time. And I'm the type of per well, I'm the type of student where I have to, I have to feel as though I have to like, if in order for a clinical to be beneficial to me, I have to feel as though I learned something. I gained insight. I, I, I had a great, uh, a new experience or, you know, I got to know this person and their diagnosis or their background and, you know, just different things like that or, or, uh, experience are in like her journey or how she does things or just different types of things that I really want to learn that I did not learn today at all. Like I did not learn anything. I didn't have any new experiences. I felt very duped. Like I felt like this was probably the first clinical experience where I felt like I was wasting my money. 
being in nursing school like today was probably the first day i felt like i was wasting my time not with the profession but with the just the experience alone and i hate to feel that way but i'm being a hundred percent honest and you know i just think that it's not the company or the unit itself because i'm pretty sure there are geriatric psych units that are more for for nursing students that are more inclusive and more um there are more opportunities for the students to learn for the students to shadow the nurse for the students to really engage with the patients and things like that and like this unit only had five patients and one nurse and one CNA. So it was like, there wasn't much room for us to really grow as students. And I feel very disappointed in my experience. I wish I had a better experience, but I did not. And so next week we're supposed to be going to the floor that the other girls were on, the adolescent floor. So they they literally had the opposite experience like they literally came back and was so happy and enjoyed the experience and things like that so hopefully you know we have a similar or well hopefully we have a different experience from this time going into next week i'm just really i'm really frustrated because i was so looking forward to this clinical and for it to be so flat was really disappointing and we had like a quick debrief after um being on the units and we basically came together and just talked about our first day experience and it was kind of frustrating because when i basically was being honest and said you know i didn't learn much i didn't do much i didn't see much you know i wasn't really taught anything like i just was standing there the whole time like, I basically was told, you know, maybe geriatric behavioral health isn't for you. And that's not a proper response, in my opinion, just because I feel as though I actually enjoy the geriatric community. Like, I was a CNA, so I actually understand that community. I understand it's a little more slow paced than other communities. But this particular situation, unit, and experience was very disappointing as far as me not learning anything new like i walked in that i literally walked in the unit the same person i am walking out like like last clinical i walked in a one person that i walked out new refresh i felt like i learned so much and you know you could look at my last clinical video like i had so many great things to say and i'm just I'm just disappointed that that did not turn out like that this time. So I will definitely do a part two for you guys just so y'all can see a difference between um, this, this clinical and next week. And yeah, I'm so glad I get to vent to you guys because I was really like, I was really pissed, honestly, like because I'm just that type of student where I want to learn. I want to engage. I want to, you know, I just want to know all I can know because I don't want to be that. I mean, imposter syndrome is real. I totally get that. But I don't want to be that nursing student that just graduates and literally knows nothing because, because her clinical experiences were trash. You know, like I want to see stuff. I want to see, you know, different mental illnesses different diagnoses like different things like i want to see that that's the whole purpose of me becoming a nurse is for me to get gain that experience and you know as far as the patients on the unit they were cool they were great like they, it wasn't them or anything like that like they were pretty um like i said it was a geriatric unit so they were pretty much to themselves there was probably experience this is really this is going to sound so bad but i think the highlight of my day was this particular patient making derogatory remarks at one of my classmates i know that sounds terrible but that's that's that literally tells you how flatline this experience was it was so flatline like i was literally losing my mind because i was not doing anything 
I was sitting down most of the time and looking at patient charts at one point, um, looking at their medications. It was not what I thought it was going to be. And so, yeah, for that to be my highlight of my experience, that's kind of sad. And not that that's good or appropriate or something to highlight, but that, you know, like the nurse had to call security and, you know, that was literally the highlight. That was the one instance where I saw action or where I saw something where I'm like, okay, this is how I, as a nurse, I would handle this situation um there's someone walking to their car and he's probably like is she talking to herself but yeah that's how I would handle a situation if I was a nurse and you know I had to call security on a particular patient that was just being belligerent or however you want to put it and so yeah guys this video is not meant to be long I'm definitely going to do a part two and hopefully in part two I will have much 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 more positive things to say and I I'm not going to shun away the mental health specialty just quite yet because I'm still I have an open mind I'm not going to let this experience ruin my outlook oh sorry on the specialty in general and you know, it is what it is. I I just hope that next week is um, better. And I was going to do some vlogs on the population health clinical, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or not because it's, it's back to back and I don't want to like infuse that in with the mental health clinical. So whatever. I just hope you guys enjoy this video and my little quick vent slash spill on my first mental health clinical experience. And I will probably catch you guys next week. So peace, love, happiness. Bye.